Yes. Your thing. I got a shotgun now. Osman. What's up? Say yeah, hi. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I just died. <laughs> hey, you suck. Alright, so we're trying to defuse this bomb, but we don't know if it's on three or is it on cut. <laughs> so which three, one. Three, two, one. Cut. <laughs> it's on cut, not on gun. I don't get this. Oh man. She just gonna say cut. Or right. on the one, cut. Exactly what I said. Uncut. Exactly. Might as well count to four. I don't know, right? What's up, guys? Today's just gonna be a vlog type of video. We got the G35 um, from uh, Osmond's car. pretty sweet spacers and the one in the front is gonna be a inch spaced out and then it's a one and a half inch space in the back so we're gonna do that and um, yeah so we got the spacers right here I think this is the inch spacer and this one's the inch and a half or this is an inch and this is half an inch I'm not sure but came with the car and we're gonna put her on see how it looks so right now we're gonna do how it looks before so there's a lot of a lot of space right here that it can be pushed out and same thing with the front there is a lot of space so hopefully it'll get flushed a little bit and it'll look pretty aggressive from here you can tell see how that is kind of inside the wheel well we're gonna see if that spacer can make it come out a little bit it should be pretty easy to jack up the, the car and then take the wheel off, put the spacer in, torque it, and then put the wheel in, torque it. So, we just gotta make sure that his stud doesn't come past that. And if it does, then can't put it on because I don't feel like shaving it off. So, yeah. What are you doing over there? I'm gonna start painting, make my engine look pretty. Pretty? Was uh, that just the? Just cleaning it with the brass brush. Is that the timing cover? Timing chain cover. Yeah. Timing chain cover. And then he's going to paint it what color? Uh, the timing chain is gonna be silver. Timing chain is gonna be silver, but it's like a different silver, not like the regular silver. And then put a clear coat on top, like he is using. <laughs> Just gonna rig this, rig this thing up. Yeah, we're gonna tie it up onto that and let it hang and spray paint it. Yeah, so the wind looks like it's blowing this way. So you're good, you're good. That should stop it. Cleaning some stuff up. Mm -hmm. What are you cleaning? Where are these parts? Is? There it is. That ish was black, huh? Mm, I'll get some chit, copper right. That chit was black. <laughs> oh, that's a, a oil filter and the oil pressure sensor. Wow. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put that on. He's gonna paint his stuff and he's just cleaning random stuff. And I think we're gonna pull the motor out. Yeah, this is dead shot. So I'm gonna start on his car. I'm gonna jack it up. 
and start taking off one of his wheels and see if one of the we'll start with the back one. I'm excited for the back one first. Yeah, and see where the if if we can put it in or not. But, yeah. Dropping some stuff on it. It's not breaking my parts, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So, oops, my bad. But let's go do that. All right, so we got the wheel off. That thing was torqued on there, but I put this on already, and it looks really good. Looks like we can put these on there. So I'm gonna go get the lugs. All right, we got her on there, and now I torque it down to about 100 foot-pounds of torque. And then uh, we'll get the wheel on her, see how she looks. All right, so got her in, like I said, or I don't know if I told you or not, but these ones are closed and the studs are too long. So it stopped itself in there. So I couldn't use these. And looks like we're not gonna be able to put the front ones on because I'm using the nuts for the front ones. So, cause it's open, the stud goes all the way through. And when we first put it in, it was with with these ones it wasn't on we can tell because we I tightened it a little bit down and I could still shake the wheel but now it's on there put it at up well, first I put it at a hundred foot-pounds of torque and it was still moving so I put it at 110 and it stopped at 110 pounds of torque so she's on there I'm gonna drop her and see how it looks oh, damn, your tires really oh man it's it's flush now look at that Man, that's cool. And then we'll see the difference right here. Nope. <laughs> it's not even flush at all. But you see all that right there? It's not coming out. And then, bam. No gaps. Only right here. Because there's no coils yet. So I did the first one. And then we was going to do the rest of them. But we can't do the rest of them. So we're just going to do that one back. Jack her up. Actually, don't jack her up all the way because <laughs> someone tightened them super tight. So I had to use the um, the breaker bar. This, oh, this one right here. Yeah, with that. Now Ryan went to the car meet at Raleigh. What was it, the leap year car meet? You're doing some burnouts out there and ooh, thing is gone. Well, the outside's still good. Yeah. Maybe you can get some corners, but. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I need to go smaller tires anyway. Yeah. Well, no, Because you want, he had a lot of torque. He had 400 pounds of torque. Oh yeah, he got his tuned, or his thing tuned by national speed. And he made 330 horsepower. 336. 336. And all it is is the down pipe and the charge pipe, uh, blow valve, and a really fat intercooler. Um, and I guess this intake too. And got it tuned over national speed, made 336 horsepower. And then he made 438 uh, pounds of torque. So you're gonna need all the meat in the back. All right, well, Osman just put in the last one. And we rolled it a little bit, and it looks really good. The tires are sticking out a little bit. It's nice and wide. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. <laughs> nah, no, just can't We torqued her down. We need four of these combined. Four? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> to make it wider. Yeah, we need four of these uh, combined. Now just flip it over. All we can do is just screw it yeah. right here like this and yeah. then put them together, you know? Yeah, that'll be dope. Yeah. <laughs> just have one tire in the front sticking out like that. Oh, look at that. This one has clear on it. Oh, uh, it's clear already on it? Yeah, I just find those ones. And if you're trying to figure out what my Instagram is, it's that. And if you don't know yet, but 
Triple D Legends is the YouTube you're watching right now. You want to drive it around to see if uh, see if you hear anything, hear anything weird or whatever. Toe strap that's rated for 9,300 pounds, and we're gonna pull her out after he's done spray painting his timing covers and all the covers. And we're just gonna put that together like that and see if we can pull her out. I still need to get underneath, and um, once I put the chair picker on there, I'm gonna loosen up the transmission mount or the bracket, whatever you want to call it, the dewy key. But before we do that, actually, I need to take out that bolt, which is a pain in the butt. Someone's gonna have to sit inside and hold the brakes and the e-brake at the same time because I was doing it by myself with just the e-brake. And while I was yanking on it, the whole car was still moving forward. So it was either my e-brake was loose, but I yanked it all the way up, so I don't know and it was still moving, I couldn't get it off. And I literally put like two cheetah pipes on it with a breaker bar and it still didn't come off. A lot of people say it's 250 foot pounds, but I felt like I put a thousand foot pounds on there <laughs> and it still didn't come off. So we'll see. Put a bunch of pads on here because once it breaks, probably gonna hit this. So I'm gonna put more stuff on there later. I just want my car done. Don't we all? Ray Rita? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> His is already done. Yeah. <laughs> just add some more stuff, that's all. <laughs> wow, bud. Nice new car. <laughs> well, new to us. Dude, look at those. It looks like catfish, bro. All right, LS swap right now. <laughs> Oh, what? So you can sit backwards? Yeah, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, man, dude, this would be a fun ride. I don't have, I don't have the house, Yo, this is awesome. Yeah. It even has a seat belt, so you can sit backwards. When we're going to LS swap it going down the strip, going like 160 miles an hour, you can see all the people that you're gapping. Um, Yo. Sweet, bro. Uh, you got the rig. Was it for twelve hundred bucks? Yeah, twelve hundred. How many miles? Hundred eighty. Yeah, let's go on a road trip in this thing. Man, that's wild. How old is he or she? He. He. Yeah. yeah. Only a couple months. Yeah. Why? Because you're in the vlog. <laughs> if I wanna know when I was on video, I'd put a dip in. <laughs> so. Dang, it did look good. Yeah. Did a few things today, nothing too crazy. But I gotta get ready for work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna pull mine out, but I felt lazy. I got the belt on there. I started too late. I gotta wake up at like four o'clock in the morning. Well, I gotta wake up at 2.30 in the morning, get ready, leave here by 3.15, and then get there by four. Yeah. Yeah, these next couple days are gonna be the long. I'll probably pull that out just sometime this week. After work. Mm -hmm. so. right, you're gonna pull the trans and everything with it? Yeah, cause I gotta, I gotta take the trans off and change the clutch anyways. Actually, can we do this real quick? Might may take like two seconds. Oh, holy! Okay. Just, you gotta get this.
<laughs> there we go. Forgot to take the video, but came off. Yeah, so now I can take all this other stuff off that needs to go on the other motor. 